नमस्कार इंडिया मेडोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम सून डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग द रेमनेंट ऑफ द सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम रिमाल लाइज एज अ डिप्रेशन ओवर ईस्ट बांग्लादेश एंड इट इज लाइकली टू वीक एन इन टू अ वेल मार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड इट विल कीप कॉजिंग हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एंड एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल ओवर ईस्ट अरुणाचल प्रदेश ओवर ईस्ट मेघालय ओवर नॉर्थ त्रिपुरा मिजोरम एंड मणिपुर ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड द मॉनसून साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून इज लाइकली टू ऑनसेट ओवर केरला एंड ओवर एंड इट इज लाइकली टू मेक इट्स एडवांस ओवर सम पार्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स बाई ड्यूरिंग थर्टी एथ टू थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मे एंड दीट वेव टू सी severe heat wave conditions prevailing over northwest and central india are likely to be reduced uh, significantly from 30th of may onwards so uh, as far as uh, this remnant of the severe cyclonic storm uh, rimal is con uh, concerned so uh, it is currently as a depression over east bangladesh and and this uh, is uh, uh, this has caused in fact uh, uh, up to up to 60 cm of rainfall over meghalaya over cherapunji or sohra it has reported uh, uh, 59 cm of rainfall so landslide mud slides and uh, land the slips mud slips and uh, land sink mud sinks and uh, 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 many other uh, hazards related to related to this uh, heavy rainfall warning has occurred over these uh, areas of uh, east uh, east meghalaya over uh, uh, tripura mizoram and south assam and uh, india meteorological department has been uh, uh, predicting uh, uh, for the for the advance of this uh, this uh, cyclonic storm into the north eastern states uh, right from uh, uh, right from uh, uh, 20 23rd of Of, uh, 23rd of may so here as we can see that uh, the red line uh, uh, shows the red line shows the forecast track and the black line shows the uh, black line shows the observe track so here we can see that uh, how close is the black line to the red line and this one is the pre genesis uh, track and intensity uh, prior to 84 hours of the landfall of the cyclone and here we can see that uh, prior to uh, landfall uh, prior to 60 hours of uh, the landfall of the uh, cyclonic storm again the black line is uh, quite near to the red line so that that is uh, suggesting that how uh, accurate the forecast uh, uh, india meteorological department has given uh, with regard to this cyclonic storm rimal here we can see that how this uh, 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 magenta lines uh, magenta bars are very uh, are smaller to the yellow bars the magenta bars are showing that the operation national landfall point error uh, 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 is is uh, uh, always lower to the yellow bars which are the which are the long period average landfall point errors and we can uh, see that for 12 hours the landfall point error is zero for uh, 24 hours it is uh, 15.6 for uh, uh, 48 hours it is uh, 36.3 and for 60 hours it is almost half of the long period average and uh, similarly for For the landfall, uh, landfall time forecast error, we can see that the uh, uh, as far as landfall time uh, forecast is concerned, so India Meteorological Department has been uh, quite accurate, close to uh, zero uh, error uh, in terms of landfall time error. So we can see over here that for 24 hours the landfall time error is just uh, uh, one hour only, and uh, for uh, uh, 48 hours it is zero, and for 60 hours it is just uh, two hours. so now if we uh, talk about the its uh, its current situation uh, of the of the depression and and its uh, uh, further is its forecast so it is currently as a depression over east bangladesh and it is likely to cause uh, extremely heavy rainfall over uh, over the northeastern states during next uh, 24 hours and especially during next uh, uh, 18 hours its in, it, it it will be uh, causing uh, heavy to very heavy with extremely heavy rainfall and tomorrow 
further rainfall activity is uh, likely to uh, decrease uh, uh, substantially as this uh, uh, low pressure area will become uh, less marked and uh, uh, thereafter although heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is uh, likely to continue over northeastern states till 1st of june so if we look uh, state wise uh, 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 forecast warning maps so we can see that over uh, the districts of uh, east jaintia east uh, khasi and uh, and uh, and west uh, jaintia the, there is likelihood of uh, extremely heavy rainfall more than 20 cm rainfall today and over the rest uh, districts of uh, meghalaya there is likelihood of heavy to very heavy rainfall activity and uh, uh, and also for the uh, for day two onwards uh, the district uh, 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 warnings have been given and uh, now if we come over to Mizoram so uh, over the northern districts of Mizoram uh, the red color warning the extremely heavy rainfall warning is there for today and over the southern districts uh, it is the uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall warning for today and uh, as far as uh, Manipur is concerned so entire Manipur, Manipur is uh, given orange color today that is heavy to very heavy rainfall with the uh, light to moderate rainfall at most places is likely today and tomorrow obviously the rainfall activity would decrease over Manipur. Uh, this is the warning map for Arunachal so we can see over here that East Arunachal and the uh, Southwest Arunachal are likely to receive uh, uh, extremely heavy rainfall today and uh, tomorrow this uh, rainfall activity would be only very heavy rainfall uh, uh, over, over, the, over the districts of Arunachal Pradesh. So, uh, uh, the, these were the district wise uh, rainfall warning for Arunachal Pradesh and the uh, other uh, northeastern states and this map is uh, suggesting that uh, these uh, red color areas are suggesting that the, there is a likelihood of uh, flash flood risk during uh, next uh, 24 hours over the regions which we have uh, discussed uh, in the in the district level warning map and also uh, due to this over the areas discussed over the districts uh, discussed here there is a, a threat of uh, 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 there is threat of likelihood of the impact of uh, landslides mudslides landslips mudslips and land sinks and mud sinks so uh, all are requested to kindly follow to the guidelines given by district administration the state government and also the disaster management management authorities so uh, uh, now if we if we uh, then we come over to the uh, situation of the southwest monsoon so the southwest monsoon has uh, uh, further uh, uh, further advanced into some parts of uh, some parts of south arabian sea and also it has made uh, some uh, advancement into the bay of bengal further and now during next two to uh, next three to four days uh, this southwest monsoon is likely to make its onset over Kerala uh, by around 30th or 31st of May and also it is likely to advance into some more parts of uh, uh, northeastern states during next uh, three to four days uh, uh, and as far as heavy rainfall warning is concerned so except northeast India there is uh, no significant heavy rainfall warning over the country but over Kerala the heavy rainfall activity is likely to uh, continue during next five days and uh, today there is likelihood of extreme heavy rainfall over the districts of Ernakulam and Kottayam and heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, likelihood is there for Edukki and Patnam Thitta and, uh, and uh, also over the district of Alapuja. So uh, uh, that was about the heavy rainfall scenario over rest parts of the country. Now if we, if we come over to the heat wave conditions. So as we can see over here that the temperatures over these areas over the, these deep red which is almost uh, uh, equal to the black color. So these areas the temperature is uh, uh, close to 47 degree or above 47 degree. Yesterday Falodi has reported 49.4 degree centigrade uh, temperature over West Rajasthan so these heat wave conditions are likely to uh, are likely to continue today although but uh, tomorrow onwards we can see slight uh, decrease in these heat wave conditions or we can say that uh, gradual improvement in heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over northwest and central india may be visible from tomorrow but uh, from 30th of may we will uh, see significant uh, improvement in the heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over northwest and central india over punjab haryana rajasthan 
राजस्थान एंड वेस्ट यूपी एंड ऑल्सो मध्य प्रदेश सो फ्रॉम थर्टी ऑफ मे वी विल बी एबल टू सी द इम्प्रूवमेंट इन दीटवेव कंडीशन एज वी कैन सी ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मे देर इज नो रेड और ऑरेंज कलर वार्निंग फॉर द एंटायर कंट्री एंड ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जून देर इज हीट वेव वार्निंग ओनली फॉर पंजाब एंड हरियाणा एंड एज फार एज डे वन एंड डे टू ट्वेंटी एट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ आर कंसर्न सो वी कैन सी दैट रेड कलर वार्निंग इज देयर फॉर पंजाब हरियाणा डेली वेस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश वेस्ट एंड ईस्ट राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश एज वेल एज द सम आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स ऑफ विदर्भा ऑल्सो एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ बिहार एंड छत्तीसगढ़ ऑल्सो एंड ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ मे द वी कैन सी दैट द रेड कलर एरिया हैज स्लाइटली डिक्रीज एंड फॉर ईस्ट राजस्थान वी आर ओनली एक्सपेक्टिंग Uh, we are only expecting orange color and for east up also only orange color so uh, the heat wave conditions are likely to be reduced which has been causing uh, uh, many health hazards during uh, past many days from 15th or 16th of may we are experiencing heat wave conditions over rajasthan punjab haryana and uh, uh, these adjoining areas so these heat wave conditions are likely to be reduced significantly from 30th of may so that's all for today tomorrow we will again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days thank you and goodbye